Hi everyone and welcome to my first vlog called Three Minutes on Research and Evidence in Chinese Medicine inspired by my friend Sandro Grasso who's been running his successful acupuncture vlog for some time now. So my aim is to try and bring you regularly and in not more than three minutes an interesting study that was just published in Chinese Medicine something that you can actually bring back to the clinic and discuss it with your patients or with colleagues. So let's get started with a very exciting uh, publication that was published last week in JAMA. JAMA is one of the leading medical journals in the world. And this study was on the benefits of electroacupuncture for stress urinary incontinence. Um, the study was a multi-center study, was conducted in 12 hospitals around China and included 504 patients, which is a huge number, uh, at the average age of 55 who have been suffering from incontinence for almost five years. Um, the participants were uh, randomized to receive either real acupuncture um, or sham acupuncture, which is placebo acupuncture, um, 18 sessions for six weeks. So that's three sessions of acupuncture per uh, week. Um, you can see here in the uh, picture the points that were used. Bladder 33 and bladder 35 were the real points. They're in pink. And in blue, you can see the placebo points, which are near the real points, but are not real. And they were not needled or they were not penetrating the skin. So let's get to the results. And the results are very exciting. So uh, the mean uh, urine leakage uh, at the beginning of the study was quite similar. It was about 19 grams. You uh, measure it essentially by putting a pad under and weighing it. Um, and at six weeks, those who received real acupuncture um, had a reduction of 10 grams, so from 19 to 9, whereas those who were with the placebo electroacupuncture had a reduction of only 2, and that difference was highly significant. The other measurement that they were doing is to see how many times they had um, events of incontinence in the last 72 hours, and they both, both groups, of course, started with about 8 events in the last 72 uh, hours, but those who received the real acupuncture had a reduction of three versus those who received the placebo acupuncture had hardly any reduction. And in fact, the difference between the real acupuncture and the placebo acupuncture group became wider the longer the follow-up was. And the follow-up was about seven months, which is a huge, um, it's a very long time that, you know, convinces you that the results are over the long term. Um, when you look at the summary of the data, in fact, 65% of the patients had 50% reduction um, in the urine leakage in those who received the real acupuncture, and those who received the placebo acupuncture had only 22% reduction in the amount of leakage. Of course, as with acupuncture, the adverse uh, events were very mild and very few. So what's the take-home message from this study? Well, um, urinary incontinence affects about 50% of the population, 49% to be accurate, um, and it really causes um, a significant psychological burden, first of all on relationships, uh, on the ability to work, on productivity, and generally on the quality of life. And there's hardly any medications to, uh, to help uh, those patients. And so knowing that uh, with such a robust study with over 500 patients, the results are so much in favor of real acupuncture, electroacupuncture, um, you know, is, is nice to know. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your feedback on the Facebook page. Please leave your feedback on your YouTube page. I want to improve um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.